Hello everyone and thank you for coming back to Deb Chanel's 40s World and I am Deb Chanel and we're coming to you with another salacious story okay it's going to be about Cynthia I'm not sorry Cynthia uh, no Nene Leakes and Kenya Moore and how she is going to clarify meaning Nene Leakes is going to clarify her position or where she stands with Kenya Moore's husband Mark Daly okay we're getting this salacious story from Urban Bell Mag dot com the vlogging site over there the person who's actually giving us the entertainment article being written up on this particular um story um, they don't really say so we're just gonna pretty much put it to well let me go back come on I'm trying to get the okay it's Amanda Anderson Nile. She wrote the article for Urban Bell magazine um, on this story on Nene Leakes trying to clarify her position of how and what and where she stands with Mark Daly and what type of relationship they have, if any. Okay, so she wrote up the story on the 23rd of December, which was um, two days before Christmas Day. So... Of course, you know, I've been backlogged because I've been trying to actually enjoy my holidays as well. So I left y'all for a few days and I came back. Well, I'm coming back strong, trying to catch up uh, and get in where I can fit in on these stories that were on the back burner because I was celebrating with my family. And I wanted to give y'all a rest, too, because I'm sure y'all were mixing and mingling with of every side of the family that you can find to do so with or you just relaxing and enjoying yourself and catching up on some old movies on the tv the tube okay is what i like to call it okay but let's get on into the story it's titled real housewives of atlanta star nene leaks clarifies her relationship with mark daly okay Real Housewives of Atlanta star Kenya Moore has hit a rough patch in her marriage to Mark Daly, and she's not sure they will be able to save their marriage. Months ago, she announced their separation on the current season. Viewers are able to see the couple address their issues, and many feel like Mark doesn't have Kenya's back. Now, again, that's a perspective. That's a viewpoint on what we're looking at, on what they're giving us as far as this sitcom show or reality show. Uh, of her and Mark's comings and goings and how they interact with one another as well as their daughter. Okay, that's my pun intended. Not in this article. Getting back to the article, it said, in fact, many are floored by Mark's comments about Menini Leakes. While at dinner with the other couples, Mark said that he doesn't have an issue with Nene, and Nene has always been nice to him and shown him respect. He also said Nene reached out to Kenya to apologize for body shaming her while she was pregnant. Interest, interesting enough, uh, Nene addressed all of this recently. Okay, so that was um, the beginning of the article and how what we were being shown as viewers of the show, what Kenya was giving us or tried to give us on her take on how Mark was seeing uh, the situation between all three of them. And he was like pretty much praising Nene and on her side. So that's just a telltale sign is how Kenya is really playing up this storyline. Okay. But um, it's neither here nor there. Everybody's going to always have their speculations and their viewpoints on the issue. Okay, but getting back to the article, it said there has been a lot of rumors about Nene Leake's relationship with Mark Daly. Some reports even claim that Nene has developed a friendship with Mark and this has frustrated Kenya. However, Nene stated that this isn't true in a recent YouTube video. She said she doesn't talk to Mark and doesn't even have his phone number. Now, that's Nene coming to reboot well, um, the bunk or she's trying to have her rebuttal on stuff that's going out there on social media about she and Mark uh, been talking behind King and Bad, having conversations, him, Greg, and her, and that um, I know I did a commentary story on Nene was supposedly allegedly setting up Mark Daly to go out. Why can't you them 
and Mark are still married. She set Mark up for a date with one of her girlfriends. So, you know, again, 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 and again, I tell you what's up, what I put out on my platform, all love is allegedly. It's just salacious stories being put out one after the other. And we just talk amongst ourselves on what we feel about the subject. Whether it's right or wrong, whether it's uh, genuine or just fictitious and fraudulent. We don't really care. It's just entertainment. And we're just talking about it, giving our opinions on subject matter. Okay. So don't take it for a grain of salt. You know, just take it as a grain of salt. Not the whole appetizing meal. All right. Uh, but anyway, going back to the article, it says, however, Nene Leakes always makes sure she speaks when she sees Mark in Kenya. Well, that's a cordial thing to do. That's a polite thing to do. That's what we do here in the South. Those who were born and raised here. We always speak. We may not like you. We may not care to be in your um presence or environment but if we both have to be there for whatever reason we're gonna be cordial okay and we're gonna have that hospitality put out because that's what we do down here in the south it's a family affair okay that's just how we get down that's how we're bred and that's how we were brought up the ones that are true natives of georgia okay but anyway going back to the article it says nini also addressed the whole scene between kenya mark in which nini was discussed she says that she did reach out to Kenya after she said Kenya looked like she was giving birth to a buffalo. Although she says she didn't apologize, she did offer an olive branch and told Kenya she no longer wished to feud. Now, of course, in Kenya's defense, she said Nene never called her. Nene never did none of that. So it's a he, she, it, she, at whatever type of scenario going on. OK, when you got the he, she going on and you ain't there to privately have privilege of the conversation or seeing it for your eyes, we don't know. Kenya could be lying. Nene could be lying. It just is what it is. Whoever you like, I'm sure you're going to go with their opinions on the matter. Okay, but going back to the article, it said, but Kenya ignored her text. Uh, Nene goes on to say that she tried to make peace with Kenya multiple times, but Kenya has never responded since then. Things have escalated while filming. Check out the video below. Um, let me see. Let's just check out the video. Let's see if it has something on it. For his audio. People that matter in my life. My kids, I care about my family. Even people say Nini, blah, blah, blah. Nini was nice to me the first time I met all of you. Actually, my mark. When you found out that Nini said, what am I carrying, like a buffalo or something, you, you got very offended by that. It's an inappropriate comment, but then she reached out to you after and tried to apologize. No, she actually didn't. I don't have a problem with the woman. The woman was very nice. Why are you going on with this? Like, you're supposed to have your wife's back. No, Candy, you're doing too much right now. I think you need to hold your opinions, baby, before they come and jump on your situation with you and Todd and Todd spending all your money. That's all I had to say. <laughs> but it was cute, short, and to the point, the actual recap of the video that um, I just played for you of the audio. Now, let's see what Nene Leaks has to say. Our audio is very low, so I don't know if it's going to pick up or not, guys. Like, 
She's talking about King and Cynthia. Now, Nene speak truth right there. She does. Consistently say 
Okay, I'm gonna try to go past this because I really don't want to hear about Eva. is coming. 
kind to all of the women that are in this group. Period. That's how we operate. Um, as to whether I'm getting along with them or not, my husband still respects them all. I feel the same way. Whether I'm getting along with their girlfriend or wife at the time, I still speak and talk to the husband and be kind to them. I'm not trying to overstep any boundaries. I just make sure I say hello and goodbye. And if there's any small talk, we have it because what you have to understand is that this is a show and their relationships change all day, every day. Um, so, you know, the people that started out at the beginning of this season being friends are probably not going to be friends at the end of the season. Uh, and there will probably be even more falling out at the reunion. So, that's just how it is. Um, that doesn't make it you a good person or a bad person. Basically, we're on a reality show and we're showing our lives and we're living out loud for the moment and people get to look, take a small glimpse inside of our lives and and judge and sit at home and on the couch and eat popcorn and talk shit all day. And that's fine if you want to do that. But um, I'm just telling you how it is and what it is. So um, I'm always happy to hop on the Helix, YouTube, and talk about everything. Subscribe to my channel. Um, I am going to try and be on here talking more and 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 more more often about any and everything. Again, I will put up the text messages that I sent out just so you can have them. And um, thank you for watching. Make sure you check out Color Main Wigs. Color, C-O-L-O-R, Main. Okay, we ain't got to go into her free promotion, okay? And then I'm, been, I'm beginning to think, I don't know if her or Candy are shooting for a pilot where they want to be a host on a show such as like Wendy Williams or Tamara Hall or Oprah Winfrey. You know, they're getting their um, foot solidified in a platform such as that or not. I really don't know, um, but it's just kind of weird. That merit to medicine women like Dr. Heavenly. Um, is it anybody else? I think it's just her for this point. They have a YouTube channel and she's speaking her mind on from, from her perspective of what is going on on the reality show that she can preview or she can make her own um, observations of what went on during each episode as she looks at it after the fact and now you got candy and you got nini uh started their own youtube uh excuse me um platform i think nini started hers before candy did but i'm like mm, is this a tool that they're using to get more um people watching them drive more numbers so they can probably get a talk show of their own that would be very interesting and surprising now wouldn't it but um nothing was with my audio it was just like nini was away from her i'm thinking she may have been recording either on her phone or her computer and she wasn't like right up on the mic where you can actually hear but hopefully my yeti this mic right here caught um the audio that i was trying to play to kind of give her commentary and so we can hear it and we can like make our own assumptions or our own perspectives of what she was saying or how the women start uh at the beginning of the season one way and then they transform or transition throughout the episodes in that season and nine times out of ten they're not friends because i'm already seeing it because i'm like damn king was saying everybody was on her side and nobody was with nini you know now it seems like the tides are turning when we're mid season in and everybody's turning against kenya or they're looking at her a different way or they're viewing her that she's no better than nini you know what i'm saying that's what i've been saying all along but you have your teen twirls and you have your teen ninis you have your teen Porsche, you have teen cynthia's and candy and it's just whoever and i'm biased on all of them okay i can get them they can get it any day anytime and anywhere i feel that i feel that they're you know uh, throwing files and flags got to be um, thrown on the plays that they're doing on the show now if you want to show me some bad behavior when they're out there in them streets and somebody catch it or they clocking their own tea i come back and say something too <laughs>
<laughs> that's just how I am and how I get down. But that's what it is on Day of Chanel's 48th World. And y'all get down in them comments and y'all tell me what y'all feel about the commentary that I gave you, that Nene gave you on the subject matter, on these women on this show going back and forth saying, you know, they support Nene, they support Marlo, they support Kenya and how people try to let one person slide and try to dim another person's light. But they're doing the same infraction. It's just on a different person. You know what I'm saying? So and it's a, di a different person giving out the orders and the uh, the hits or spraying the bullets or whatnot. But like Nene say, you can get it in a day. She don't care who it is. <laughs> She gonna speak her mind, but I did have one cause to pause when Nene said she can handle herself. She didn't need no support. She didn't need nobody in her cone. I'm like, wait a minute, baby. Let's go way back. Let's go way on way back when I couldn't know you, but you couldn't have been too much more. T okay, but anyway, that's a song. But anyway, uh, no, you remember when Nene had that little uh get together at her house and marlo had to stop everything she was doing because greg told her to go and check on nini because nini was having a meltdown and this that and third you know and get greg was going through his little council thing and stuff and uh nini had threw a little party and everybody had showed up of course kenya wasn't there but she wasn't having she didn't have filming privileges at that time um they had got rid of her for that season but anyway um you know, it was most so everybody was there for Nene and Nene was crying a river and everybody was there and she was breaking down. Had, uh, Marlo got so sick of her trying to get on her about things. She almost walked out and then Nene almost had a fit like she going to fall on the floor or something. But um, yeah, they were there for you, Nene. You were saying you needed your girls to be there for you. You needed them in your life. But just, you know, you're playing hot, tough, and mighty. And now you're saying that, you know, you don't need nobody. You you got you, yourself, and I, and that's all you need. <laughs> like, Nene, sit your ass down, too. Sit down. I mean, just be yourself all day, every day. And clock your own tea if you have to. Be with yourself if you have to. Uh, or, or go slide in somebody else, like show up on the spot. Of uh, knowing somebody else taping, just go on and, and interrupt them and just come on get you a little taping time. But we know you're a very prideful person, and we know pride kind of gets us in trouble here and there. So, I mean, it's like, girl, make your money, like Marlo said. Go on and get in the many scenes you can, uh, taping with them in every episode that you're in, you know. Go on and get your mind and stop worrying about these women and they making you look a certain way. Because at the end of the day, everybody going to the bank, cash, and Bravo checks, okay? And that's what y'all need to be doing if y'all want to continue to be on this show. They want you to bring drama. They don't care how you bring it, but it need to drive ratings, okay? So, you just do what you got to do. But that's all I have for this video, y'all. Y'all get down in them comments. Let me know what y'all thought about them if you care to. And continue to subscribe, share, and like my videos. And we will be at peace with one another. Okay, but that's all I had. Y'all have a good evening and good night. Bye-bye.